Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying the concept of this in JavaScript. This is an automatically created variable in most functions and this variable usually points to an object depending on the object that is calling that function. Sometimes it might be confusing knowing what object that this variable is pointing to. So in this video, I'll be simplifying that so you can easily know what object that this variable is pointing to. I'm currently in my browser console where I'll be running some code and you can see how the this variable works. By default, the this variable points to the window object. That is the default value of this if there is no object calling a function. So let's create a function. I'll call this function hello. And in this function, I'm going to console log the automatically created this variable like this when i execute this function you can see here i am calling this function directly there is no object before this function what i mean by that is i'm not calling this function like object dot hello i'm just calling this hello directly now since there is no object calling this function directly the this in this function would point to the default value which is the window object this hello function is the same thing as calling window dot hello and you can see that this still points to the window object so let me show you an example now where the this variable points to another object so i'm going to create an object here called obj and this is going to have a name property of object and it's going to have a hello method or hello function and here i am going to console log this and i'm going to close this method and i'm going to close this object like this now, when I call obj.hello, since this is an object calling this function, the this variable in this function is going to point to this object. And you can see that when I execute it, the this now logs name object and the hello function. So the easiest way to know what the this variable is, is the object that is calling the function that the this exists in. I'm going to show you another example here where things can get a little confusing. So let's say I create another function which is hello2 and this basically inherits the function declaration from obj.hello. If I execute hello2, this this variable is going to point back to the window object. And why is that so? Because there is no object declared at the beginning of this hello2. I am not calling hello2 like obj.hello2 or another object.hello2. I am calling it directly and because I'm calling it directly, the this variable is going to point back to the default, which is the window object. Now, let me show you another example that can get even a little trickier again. I'm going to create an animal object and this animal is going to have a name property of dog. It's also going to have a hello function again. And in this hello function, I'm going to console log this. In this function, I'm going to declare another function. I'm going to call this maybe back, for example. Here, I'm going to console log another this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a label here. The console log here is for the back function. And I'm going to also put a label here where I write hello. Now I can close this back function and I can also execute this back function in the hello function now i can close the hello function and i can close the animal so we have two these variables we have the this that is automatically created in the hello function and because we created another function and another this variable is automatically created we have a this variable for the back function so before i run this code i want to give you a minute to think if i call the function like this animal.hello what do you think that this variable in this function is going to point to and what do you think that this variable in the back function is going to point to well whatever your answer is i'm going to execute it here you can see that the in the hello function the this variable points to animal which you can see is named dog and the hello function and that's because we called it like animal.hello but for this back function, which is in this hello, since the back function creates its own this variable, is called directly here. There is no object calling the back function. It's called directly. Its own this variable is going to point back to the default, which is the window object. So like I said, again, the this variable in a function depends on the object that is calling that function. If it is called directly, that this variable is going to point to the window object. 
However, with arrow functions, things can be different. So with normal functions, normal functions create their own this variable, but arrow functions do not create their own this variable. They use the existing this variable. So if I copy this here and I paste this and I'm going to call this maybe species, for example, and for this back function, I make this back function an arrow function like this, constant back as a course like this. So in this back function, this is an arrow function and it doesn't create its own this. So that means the this variable in this arrow function is going to point to what this was before the back function was declared. And what the this variable was before this function was declared was this this. So I'm going to run this now by saying species dot hello. Now you can see that the hello function, the this in that function points to the species object and the this in the back function, which is an arrow function, points to the same species object. So if you want to retain the value of this when you're declaring functions, you can use arrow functions because they do not create their own this. But if you're using normal functions, they are going to create their own this variable, which is going to point to the object that is calling that function. If you found this video helpful, kindly like this video, also subscribe for more simplified content, and you can share this video with others.